Well, the study was really done to answer a fundamental question, which was in patients who are young and middle aged who have aortic valve disease, who need an aortic valve replacement, what is the best option for them? So if you are facing aortic valve surgery, you really have one of two options. Either your uh, aortic valve leaflets are normal, in which case your aortic valve could be repaired. Uh, alternatively, if your aortic valve is very diseased and calcified and stenotic, then um, they're not repairable, in which case you need a valve replacement. If you're facing aortic valve replacement surgery, you have one of three options. The first is a mechanical aortic valve. Now, mechanical valves are, the benefit of a mechanical valve is that it's durable, it will last a long time. The downside is that it requires lifelong anticoagulation with Coumadin or Warfarin to keep the blood at the right uh, thinness. The second option is a biological valve, a pig or cow valve, and for those valves the benefit is that you don't need warfarin, you can just take an aspirin uh, for those valves. However, um, particularly in the population we're talking about in 30 and 40 year olds, um, these valves are not durable, so they're not really an appropriate option for very young patients. Um, the third option is what's called a Ross procedure. The Ross procedure is a technique whereby we take the patient's own pulmonary valve, we excise their diseased aortic valve, we place their own pulmonary valve into the aortic position, and we replace their pulmonary valve with a cadaveric pulmonary valve, or what's called a homograft. Um, the Ross procedure has been um, uh, in use for many, many years, but it's a technically more uh, complex operation than a straightforward mechanical aortic valve. And so uptake of the Ross procedure across the world has really waxed and waned and has stayed at uh, relatively low rates. It's really only done in certain centers of excellence. So our question was, for a young patient facing aortic valve replacement, what is better, a mechanical valve or the Ross procedure. We found that uh, in the long term we had uh, similar rates of overall long-term survival in the two groups. Um, we had uh, 208 uh, matched pairs of patients that we followed for many, many years. Um, and they uh, had similar overall rates of survival. However, the Ross patients had uh, improved freedom from cardiac and valve-related mortality and very, very uh, strong difference in the rates of stroke and bleeding episodes. So if you had a mechanical aortic valve replacement here, uh, after 20 years, your chance of having either a stroke or a major bleeding episode was 20%, whereas in the Ross group, it was almost uh, negligible. One finding that was surprising was that the reintervention rate was actually the same in both groups. So people shy away from the ROS partly because it's technically more complex and also because the um, reintervention rate is felt to be potentially higher, but we found that it was not. It was actually the same as a mechanical valve. Um, and patients in our study, the small number that did have reintervention for following a Ross procedure, uh, all did very well. I think for patients, uh, particularly um, for 30 and 40 year olds, you have to live with your choice of valve replacement for a long time. It's very different than when we're counseling a 70 or 80 year old patient with what type of valve they'll have. There, uh, you know, we discuss between a TAVI or a tissue valve, and the durability factor is not as important. Whereas for young patients, the risk of anti anticoagulation as well as the risk of uh, the the uh, need to have very good long term t durability are very important factors. 
Well, I think a physician um, who's counseling a, a young patient who's facing aortic valve uh, replacement um, should really consider all of the options available to that patient, um, the, particularly for patients who are young and active, women of childbearing years, patients who have a very tight stenotic aortic valve with a normal sized annulus, those are really the optimal candidates for a ROS procedure. And physicians who are dealing with that uh, patient population should really consider a surgeon who does the ROS procedure. At the Peter Monk Cardiac Center, we have an um, aortic center of excellence. And really what that means is we have a very strong, very collaborative team, a multidisciplinary team of specialists who are invested in taking care of patients with aortic problems. So regardless of the age of the patient and whether or not they need open surgery or endovascular repair or a hybrid of the two, um, we have a team of cardiologists, vascular and cardiac surgeons, interventional radiologists, imaging experts, genetic all you know dedicated to taking care of patients with uh, complex aortic problems. Um, we also uh, have one of the leading research institutes looking, uh, lo trying to understand how aortic aneurysms are formed, what makes them progress, how we can, um, how we can prevent them.